Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys? Here we have a 2003 Chevy Impala. We're going to be doing some videos today. If you need parts for your vehicle, check out 1AAuto.com. We're going to open the hood. There's a release right here. On the left side of the dash, it's a little picture of a car with a hood. Just pull that lever. There's a release right here. I'm just going to move that to the right and lift the hood up. We're going to raise and support the vehicle. We're using a two post lift. You can use a jack and jack stance. All right, we're going to drain the oil now. I'm going to use a 15 millimeter wrench to take the drain plug out. When I take the drain plug out, you want to make sure you have something to catch the oil. We have a drain bucket underneath. So I'm going to loosen it up to the left. Take the drain plug out. There is a seal on the strain plug. You want to double check that seal, make sure it's not ripped or anything. If it is ripped, you can replace that seal or replace the whole drain plug. And we'll drain that fluid out now. All right, now that all the oil is drained out, we're going to reinstall the drain plug. Then we'll snug it down with a 15 millimeter wrench. Make sure you don't tighten this too much. You don't want to strip out the oil pan. And then we'll wipe it off with a rag. All right, next I'm going to take the oil filter off. Because this engine is a 3.4 liter engine, the oil filter is located right here in front of the motor. If you had the Chevy Impala with a 3.8 liter, the oil filter would be right here, but because it's the 3.4, it's located in front of the engine. So I'm gonna use a strap wrench to loosen up the oil filter. Just put it on. Once it's on properly, you just loosen it up. Once it's loose, I can take it off by hand. It is going to start dripping. Make sure you have your drain bucket underneath. Drain the oil out. So you want to make sure when you take the old oil filter down that the gasket is still on the filter. If it's not on the filter, then it's stuck on the engine. You want to take that off because you don't want to double gasket the filter because it will leak oil all over the place. Before we install the new filter, we're going to want to take a little bit of fresh oil, stick it on your finger and lubricate the seal. This will help install the filter better and the next time you go to take it off, it will come off a lot easier. Now we're going to install the filter. Just going to line it up, get it started. Once you start feeling that it's getting more difficult to turn, I'm going to take a rag and just wipe off any of the oil that was on there. And then I'm going to snug it up as tight as I physically can tighten it by hand. And that's good. Once that filter is all on and tightened up, we're going to spray this down with some brake parts cleaner. Clean that up a little bit. I'm just going to wipe down some of the excess oil with a rag. So now I'm going to add the oil. I'm going to pull the oil cap off. This vehicle takes 5W30 oil. Install a funnel. This 
vehicle requires about four and a half quarts of oil. So I added about four and a half quarts of oil. Now we're going to check it. Take a rag, pull my funnel out, and install my filler cap. Now I'm going to start the vehicle up and let it run for about 15 seconds. Now I'm going to check the level at the dipstick. Pull the dipstick out. I'm going to wipe it off. Reinsert the dipstick. Let it sit for about two seconds. And we'll pull it out again. And we'll check it. And we want the fluid level in between these hash marks and ours is right at the top, which is perfect. Reinstart the dipstick. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.